Live from the studios of WTJX, this is Face to Face, the weekly interactive program that focuses on the events that affect the Virgin Islands community. With candid conversations about news, cultures, politics, the arts, and entertainment. And now your host, Eddie Otley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another edition of our Face to Face program. Tonight, solar energy. Are you interested? I mean, have you seen the, the progress that has been made? We've got some folks here who are going to tell us, you know, about the progress and whether or not this is something each family in the Virgin Islands should really take a serious look at. I'm delighted to have with us uh, Don Buchanan. Don, good to see you. Don is from the, uh, the, the VI um, Energy Office. He is the Media Information Specialist. Good to see you. Glad to be here. Thanks a lot for having us. Uh, he's, he's, he's great in terms of energy from the sun. Huh? <laughs> and of course, uh, Sadie Clinton and from uh, Scotia Bank. You said, well, why Scotia Bank? Well, because Scotia was the first one who believed in this system, I mean, the way uh, and financing it in, in terms of uh, folks in our community. And next door, of course, is Michael uh, Boomba, who is president of uh, Virgin Energies. Good to see you and welcome to our face-to-face -face program. Thank you, Eddie. First, let me start off with, with uh, Don, because uh, the VI Energy Office, you've heard a lot about them and a lot of things they've been doing, things you've been seeing on a major scale in terms of government, but individually also a big push you guys have been making in encouraging residents uh, to become more energy efficient, and one of the ways is by using solar energy. So, Don, tell us, give us a progress report. How, how Eddie, it's been going so well that we almost feel like we don't have to work as hard as we used to for <laughs> residential. There, people know that it, it's a good investment, uh -huh. and if you have the money, you make the investment. That's why it's really nice that Scotia's doing what they're doing because that has been a big holdup making an investment. And as Mike will tell you, the cost has dropped. So that is give another push. One, one example I can give you is like five years ago we started the net metering program and the first year we had I think two customers and the second year we maybe had five. We have 150 people doing net metering right now. Really? Yeah, it, I mean the residents are contributing to WAPA. They're, what I mean by net metering is instead of having a battery system you actually use WAPA as your battery. Uh, like uh, the way I explain it is during the day, the sun makes a lot of power at your house. You got all the panels out. You're not using the energy. So that energy goes to WAPA. And when you come home at night, you need energy, but the sun's not making it. So you take it back from WAPA and you have an even exchange with them. That's the best deal because they won't pay you for extra. They'll just pay you for what you, what use. you use. So uh, every, it is going well. I mean, we're not. We're still promoting solar. We're, we've got a new program out now for solar water heaters. Rebates is just starting up. I mean, we're not giving up. Uh, we know we still have some work to do there, some education. The, but the second part of the energy office is uh, energy efficiency. And that's more residents can, that's easier obtained than solar because you have to have the solar investment. Right. So energy efficiency, we want to work a little bit more on education there because uh, that anybody can do that. Uh, solar ins installation, you have to, the fundamental problem is the upfront money. Yeah, okay, and that's, that's very important because a lot of people, when they looked into it, you know, that's, that's, what I, that's the feedback I get. You know, it's so expensive if you want to do it the proper way, and we want to go through the simple, simple ways of saving, and then, of course, if you're really going full-blown, what the advantages are. Homeowner with a bank loan of what twenty thousand dollars max what do we get for that if you're really energy efficiency efficient you'll get everything <laughs> i mean it'll <laughs> take care of your whole bill really but uh generally for a whole f say a family of three or four uh, you're probably going to need thirty thousand or thirty five thousand to do it but it, it doesn't matter as she pointed out you, you don't have to get a whole system and take care of your your whole uh, electric bill you can go in, in segments, and Mike will tell you, first of all, you want to make sure that you're, you've got your uh, framework, your inverter and everything, big enough to handle a bigger system. But just start out small in the panels, and you can keep adding panels. And, and you start out with that 20000 you're going to get, that, you know, this is just a guesstimate because everybody's different, mm -hmm. maybe two-thirds of your WAPA bill taken away. I just want to clarify, 
when Mike talks about grid tide and I talk about net metering, we're, we're talking about the same thing, just different words. Oh, okay, that's a okay. <laughs> <laughs> confused there for a minute. Yeah, I was worried we were confusing so people. So the, the trend now is, is met, uh, net metering yeah. The rather net than the battery. I understand the battery for backup, for backup situation if the entire system goes down. But if you go into, say, we're going to start at this level, net metering, mm -hmm. what, what, what do we have to do? Well, where do we have to start? The batteries are, are a good idea if you want to get completely off the grid, but they're ex an expense. That's the whole thing. And we used to figure they're almost a third of your cost. And what you need, want to do is just, you know, see one of our local dealers right away, see what they're doing. I know Scotia Bank's doing that, and I'm almost real confident that there's going to be other banks follow their lead. Mm -hmm. Because this, is, to me, it, it makes sense that uh, solar is a better investment than a car. You get the car and you drive it off the lot and you've already yeah, lost right. money on it. Yeah. Well, you put that solar panel on your roof and you've added value to your house. All, all the studies are showing people want to buy houses now that have alternative energy. And especially in the Virgin Islands, if, if you're coming down here to buy a house and you look, investigate the electricity rates, which are four times national average, and you see a house that has solar panels and cuts down, I mean, it, it's obvious that you're going to say, hey, that might be a good idea.